I'll, I'll start with some of the things that I really have enjoyed and then some of the things that have been difficult. Um, I love the fact that if you don't show up on time, it's okay. Now the reverse of that, of course, is that it's very annoying to be a timely person such as myself and no one else is there. But then once you settle into it, this, the benefits of it are you don't feel the stress that I often felt in the United States about hurrying and rushing and being on time and living by the clock, living by our watches. Mm -hmm. um, so I do like that. Um, some of the things I admire are also some of the things that drive me crazy, like, um, you know, so much inefficiency and difficulty with follow through. But then on the other hand, if I don't feel like doing something, it's okay too. So <laughs> I can give myself permission not to follow through on something, which maybe that's not good, but it certainly takes some of the stress out. I, of course, I obviously appreciate the food. I appreciate the beauty of Jamaica. It's, it's incredible. I appreciate the good weather. I will miss having fresh produce that's grown locally year-round. I will miss that a lot. Um, I will miss hearing patois spoken on the streets. And I won't miss public transportation, but it will comprise a lot of my uh, memories of living in Jamaica and coping with Jamaica. There were so many times that I thought I was going to meet Jesus. So, <laughs> I'm glad that so far that hasn't happened. Oh, my favorite patois. Well, one term is it finish because you never know whether that means there's not any more we're not ever getting any more in. I'm too lazy to go to the back and look. You don't know what it means, but it finish. <laughs> Me no drink mad puss piss. Meaning? Meaning? I'm not crazy. Or Me no nam mad puss brain. I don't eat mad puss brain. I'm not crazy. I like that one a lot. <laughs> and grabalicious. Grab I don't hear grabalicious. Grabalicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That you just... You're greedy and you just want more and more. Oh, yeah. yeah. Grabalicious. Grabalicious. <laughs> I've learned that, well, first of all, I love lime. I put it in everything. And Miss Olive said, no, Linda, that cut your nature. And I said, Miss Olive, I really don't care if I cut my nature. No, you mustn't do it. So I still use lime, but the belief is it will cut your nature. So there you go. <laughs> But I remember riding in a taxi one day, and it was hot, and I was crammed in the back seat with three other men, and they were sort of, we were all half asleep, and there were two people in the front seat, and I thought at that instant that we were litter mates, because you know how puppies and kitties cuddle up together, and it sort of felt like we were like that, because one man had leaned his head over on my shoulder and was asleep, and... You know, you can't help but touch people's appendages. <laughs> so it did seem like we were litter mates. Um, and then I remember driving home one day in a taxi, and I can't small myself up very much. I do the best I can. But it was full, as they typically are, you know, four people in the back, two people in the front, plus the driver. And we're crowded, and we're driving along, and we see a Rasta man on the side of the road, and the driver stops. And I'm saying, but we're full, where is he going? Then the trunk opens and he climbs inside. I just was speechless. So I'm amazed at how many people you can cram into a taxi. There's been a lot of laughter, a lot of fun times here, but on a, on a sad note, I think what living in Jamaica has taught me is what it, the cruelty of poverty and what it does to people's spirit and psyche. Uh, and, it, and it is very cruel. And the remnants of slavery and the impact it has on, on the culture and the way the people, as you would say in Jamaica, the way they stay. Mm -hmm. And um, 
that's that's been very sad for me to see that uh, and coming here and observing how hard it is for people to make their way and how difficult it is for people to generate income and and then trying to inspire. I've always prided myself on being able to inspire people and young people to finish school and that life can be better. And I've learned in Jamaica that's not always the case. You can tell young people you need to get a good education, which, number one, it's not easy to get a good education in Jamaica. Um, but even if a child does well and finishes high school and even if they want to go on to college and do, there's no guarantee they'll find a job. Well, if you stay in an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica, you've not been to Jamaica. That's the first thing. And I wish that more tourists would get out and see the real Jamaica. And um, Jamaica needs a lot of help. But also, I think it's important for visitors to recognize the struggles that people have, and especially for those of us that are so blessed and have so much. And we don't have to deal with the fact that your water, if you have it, can be shut off at any time, and you don't know when it's coming back on. It finish. You don't know, we don't have to deal with our electricity being shut off, and we don't know when it's coming back. Um, there's just so many things that people have to deal with in their day-to-day -day lives that make life difficult that we never have to deal with. And I think that the more you understand how other people live and the problems people face, my hope would be the more you have some compassion and you know you can't help everybody but keep your heart open keep your mind open and do what you can wherever you are to improve a condition and make life better for someone because to me that's the point of living and if we're not doing that i'm not really sure what we're doing except self-indulgence and uh, making ourselves comfortable and not really going beyond that I'll always think of what my, my daughter Jennifer said at about age four. We were watching a program on children starving in Africa. And Jennifer looked up at me with her big blue eyes and she said, But Mommy, if we would share, there's enough for everybody. And I, I often think, my gosh, out of the mouths of babes, but it's so true. So if you ask me the main root problem in life and all the miseries that come upon us, I would say human greed, in a word, human greed. But there's so much we can do to help each other and make life better.